growing up in like the Philippines and in in the States, it was really hard to like fit into both cultures. When I sang or, or like performed, that's when I felt like I was accepted. I loved like just turning into somebody else and, and speaking through like a different voice and being able to go through these things in life that I may not ever go through, but I can like, I feel, I like, whenever I, I, I get a piece, I'm like, I feel this character and I wanna tell your story. So having a dream of being a star and being on Broadway as going back so far, redefining that dream as an adult, you know, seeing kind of like, wait, this is maybe not what I want. I'm going, still going this way, but I'm kind of taking it over here, this path. That's hard, that's really hard, growing up and being like, oh. Then you have to kind of ask yourself again, like, why am I doing this? What do I want to be putting out there? What do I want to be saying? How do I want to be using my gift? What I would like to do is to be able to tell stories that are not normally told and we can use our gift and our voices to give voice to a lot of people in a lot of situations that can be voiceless and are not seen or are looked over. I, I do believe that, that we have a duty to speaking truth and to really challenging the status quo and challenge people's thinking. Because if, if not, then what, what, are, what are we making it for? You are enough. Always, just as you are. What you have to say is important. Your struggle, your journey, your experiences are worth everything. Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> Forgive yourself, love yourself. Yeah.